Holy crap. Like, I seriously have to process what I just watched. Oh, that was something else. Blade Runner 2049. Blade Runner 2049 is the sequel to Ridley Scott's 1982 film Blade Runner. This one is being directed by Denis Villeneuve and it stars Ryan Gosling. Harrison Ford's coming back once again. You got Robin Wright in this movie, Ana de Armas, uh, Dave Bautista. Pretty big cast. And basically what this movie is is again it's a sequel to 1982's Blade Runner and you have Agent K played by Ryan Gosling and he discovers this secret and if this secret gets unraveled then lots of bad things can happen so basically we follow the quest to stop those bad things from happening alright so let's get into Blade Runner 2049 I was really looking forward to Blade Runner 2049 for two reasons. One, because I loved the original Blade Runner. It's my second favorite Ridley Scott film behind only The Martian. And the other reason is because director Denis Villeneuve is directing this one. And in the past, he's directed lots of great films like Sicario, Prisoners, Arrival. Enemy I wasn't too big on, but... Yeah, I mean, really, other than that, he's got a pretty good track record. So, how does he do with Blade Runner 2049? Well, there's only one word I can use to describe how I feel about this movie. That is epic. And that's because that's exactly what this movie is. It's a sci-fi epic. And it lives up to that in spades. First off, the acting is fantastic. Ryan Gosling does a great job in this movie. Harrison Ford, as soon as he shows up in this movie, he shows up not at the time you'd think he would show up. Maybe, I don't know. But, yeah, he you might be surprised by when he does show up in this movie. Like, what, what time in the movie he does show up. But when he does, he's awesome. He brings it. And as soon as he shows up, that's when the movie really kicks it into high gear. Like, it's high octane from there. And it's really entertaining. But really, like, the main star of this movie is Denis Villeneuve. Because his direction in this movie is flawless. It is done to perfection. Like, it's a great follow-up to the original Blade Runner. And it's a really... I think it's a really worthy sequel, especially for one that came out 35 years later. So, yeah, the the direction, I thought, was absolutely fantastic in this movie. And I thought the writing was great, too. The acting, as I said, Jared Leto's in this movie as well. He has one of the most terrifying scenes in this movie. And it's arguably the best scene in the entire film. It happens toward the third act. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm just going to say, I was holding on to the armrests in my seat, white-knuckled. Like, I, w I was terrified for what what was going to happen. And Dave Bautista, he's not in the movie very much, but he does have a really cool moment toward the beginning of the film. And the other thing about this movie that's so great is the technical aspect. This movie is beautiful absolutely beautiful the cinematography is breathtaking and I'm just gonna say it right now Roger Deakins give him the Oscar because his cinematography in this movie is just oh man I wasn't like I couldn't get enough of how beautiful this movie looked it was amazing just the way the camera moved all the wide shots and like all the color correction and all that good stuff like especially toward the third act of the movie just absolutely gorgeous but here's the thing that will like if this does not win an oscar i am going to lose my mind um hans zimmer and benjamin wallfish their score oh my god 
it fits so perfectly with this movie. So perfectly. And it is... Oh, I thought a rival score was awesome. Wow. This takes it to a new level. Of like just how well done it is. How it fits in with the rest of the film and the plot and the story. And everything that was going on. Whew. Very chilling. Absolutely chilling. This movie gave me the chills. And just the story and everything that was going on was so engaging. I was hooked onto the screen from like the first minute of the movie. And this movie is 163 minutes long. It's a long movie. And the fact that this movie, despite being more of a slow burn film, kind of like the first Blade Runner and all of Denis Villeneuve's other films are, like despite it being like that, this movie didn't drag for me at all. It, I was not bored at all by this movie. Not at all. And I did not once even think about falling asleep. And I saw this movie pretty late at night, too. Like 8.30, 9 o'clock at night. My time. So, yeah. I, wouldn't, I wasn't going to get out of the theater until way late. Like almost midnight. But I, didn't, I wasn't falling asleep at all. I wasn't even close to falling asleep. Because... Of how engaging the story was, how beautifully shot the movie was, the score, and how it fit in with the movie, all the characters, just everything about this movie is amazing. And this is, without a doubt, Denis Villeneuve's best film. And I thought nothing was going to top Arrival. Whew, this movie did it. This is one of the best sci-fi movies I think I've ever seen in my life. And that's saying a lot, because... I love Star Wars films. I love The Force Awakens. But I think this beats it, honestly. And I, I love The Martian, too. That's another great Ridley Scott sci-fi movie. But again, I think this movie beats it. This movie is just... Oof. Like, I couldn't praise this movie enough. That's really the best way I can describe it. This is only the third time I'm saying it this year, but... I've got nothing. I don't have any flaws. Blade Runner 2049 is everything I wanted it to be and more. It's Denis Villeneuve's best film. It's one of the best sci-fi films ever made in my eyes. And it's a sequel that takes, the takes everything about the original and improves upon it. And that's saying a lot considering how much I loved the original Blade Runner. So yes, Blade Runner 2049 is this year's sci-fi masterpiece. It is, it is a flawless movie. I'm just going to leave it, say it like that. It's a flawless movie. And it absolutely deserves this grade. This is only the third time I've given this grade this year. And it's the first time I've given this grade in a video review. So yes, with all that being said... Blade Runner 2049 absolutely is going to get a 100% certified fresh rating. That is an A+. This movie is masterful. Alright, so there it is. There's my review of Blade Runner 2049. I know it's very late, and I do apologize for that. A lot of things have been going on in my life, especially oh, one week ago. Oh, man. That was hellish. But luckily, I'm past that, finally. And I'm finally able to get this review out for you guys. Also, school and other crap has been getting in the way. Hopefully, I can get more reviews for you guys in the future. I believe that's movie number 77 now, I think, on the year for me. So, yes, I'm one step closer to getting to 100 films. That's the goal, get to 100 films by the end of the year. So, yes, anyway, what did you guys think about Blade Runner 2049? If you have seen it, make sure to leave it down in the comments below what you thought of it do you think it's better than the original do you think it's one of the best sci-fi films ever made like i do and what is the best sci-fi film ever made if it's not blade runner 2049 again feel free to leave that down in the comments below 
and make sure to subscribe to my channel for more reviews to come in the future. I don't really know what my next review is going to be just yet, but I am going to be doing a series of disaster movie reviews leading up to Geostorm, which actually comes out this weekend. But yeah, so you can expect reviews of The Day After Tomorrow, 2012, and San Andreas coming up on my channel pretty soon. And then hopefully I'll be able to see Geostorm sometime later this week, or this weekend maybe. And I'll have a review of that up for you guys pretty soon. But yes, that is all for now. Until next time, once again, my name is the California Cougar. And always remember to stay California cool. Peace.